Hello and welcome back to another hit film tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a building Christmas tree um, using the particle simulator. If you would like to know how I created the snow in this shot, that is in a tutorial I made last year. Okay, so this is the effect that we'll be creating, the building up of the Christmas tree. Uh, the yellow almost resembles like a star type thing that would be on the top. And so yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a new composite shot. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to call it Christmas tree. And I'm going to set the composite shot duration to 10 seconds, and I'm going to leave everything else the same. So 1920 by 1080 HD, you can have it any size as well. Then hit OK. So the first thing that you're going to want to do now you're inside of your new composite shot is create two new point layers and then you're going to rename the first one to control or tree control just to clarify and then you're going to want to create a second point and this is going to be your branch control. Uh, you're going to want to parent the branch control to your tree control point. And you're going to move your tree control point down towards the lower half of the screen and as you can see they've both moved to the same location. Now if you just want to move your branch control slightly on the x-axis just this is the that will be the width of like the tree. So this is the base of the tree and then we're going to make it rotate and move in as it goes up. So let's do that now. Okay, so you're going to want to start keyframing for the tree control. Start controlling position and rotation. You also want to create these as 3D planes. All right, okay. Restart that. Okay, so now what you want to do is convert these points to 3D, which will create a camera, just hit OK. So now what you want to do is, for the tree control, start, start keyframes for the rotation on the Y, and you also want to start keyframes for position. And now what you want to do is skip ahead 5 seconds, and then you want to drag your tree control point higher up on the screen however high you want your Christmas tree to be and then you can adjust this I might move it down slightly and now you've got a point that just goes straight up you're also going to want to skip to your five seconds in and you also want to change the times of rotation to 10 this means that the point that will also be controlling the branch control will be spinning round. So if you just find the particle simulator, drag and drop this into the timeline. Now you want to open the controls and you want to attach inside of shape in point trajectory, you want to uh, attach the shape emitter to the branch control. As you can see particles are just being spewed out everywhere so you want to go into the particle systems and change movement, change speed and set that to zero and just boot up the life to, but I'm going to change this to 10 seconds and as you can see it's just making a cylinder and we want it to create a cone we want it to create a cone so we then need to animate the branch control point to move in over the duration of the shot so you want to start keyframing for position at its bottom point and then move in by 5 seconds and then just move it to the center. And as you can see, it now creates a cone. So that's the shape made for the Christmas tree. Now it's about the look of the tree. So I went into appearance and changed the texture source to built in. Then I changed the texture to sparks star, which created the tree look have a bit more of a sparkly look to it. Then I went into the lifetime controls for this simulator, went into colour, and then changed type to gradient. Then I created a new point and I made this an orangey yellow. 
then I moved the white point further along and I changed this to a green dark glow. There we go. So now as you can see we have a Christmas tree that builds up from the ground. However, all of these particles are looking fairly uniform and there isn't much going on. So I went into movement variation and changed the scale to 5. This just adds a tiny, tiny bit of variation. That's it. Then inside of appearance variation, I changed texture angle to something that just made them look a bit more random. So if you do want to make the tree then sort of disintegrate at the end and fall, uh, you want to add one force. That is going to be your gravity, and believe it or not, that is actually one, what you want it to do. Apart from, we're going to open the general for this and start keyframing with active turned off. Then you're going to move ahead by two frames and turn active to on. Meaning the tree will then kind of fall at the end here. Then you're also going to add a second force, and this is going to be your turbulence force. And you're also going to start keyframing with active being off, and then move ahead by two frames, and then turn active on. This means that the tree then kind of disintegrates and blows up, and sort of spreads out. However, as you can see, when it's falling, it's still producing more particles. And how we're going to fix this is by moving to the final frame where the tree finishes being made and then at this end point we're going to open the general for the particle system we're going to start keyframes for particles per second move ahead by one frame and set it to zero this will then stop the creation of particles and then when the tree explodes nothing else is added if you want to make the tree pop slightly more, you could add some glows. So I drag and drop a glow onto my particle simulator. And then I just tweaked the settings, escape that glow. But this time I'm going to change the radius to be a lot higher. And as you can see, we now have a slightly more bright Christmas tree. Of course, this is all up to you and personal preference. I just like how mine looks, but if you want to change the colours, if you want to add particle, more particles, remove particles, get rid of the glows, add more glows, add all sorts of other things to make this even more complicated and cool, then go ahead and do that. Uh, it's completely up to you. This is just how to create the base tree. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did then please leave a like and subscribe um, and see you next time, goodbye.